I have never driven a Lamborghini. I've never had the need or desire to, and on my bedroom wall as a kid was not a picture of a Diablo, it was a sketch of a red BMW E30 M3 that I still love to look at. But today, at the Autodromo Enzo Edino Ferrari, aka Imola, where both Roland Ratzenberger and Ayrton Senna lost their lives at the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix, my nonchalance towards the brand was about to change. Big time. Now I know what you're thinking. The new Lamborghini Huracan Performante is just a normal Huracan with a wing, maybe some weight reduction and probably a nice increase in price. And in a way, you're exactly right, because it costs over £200,000, weighs 40 kilograms less than standard and features a wing. But if there's only one video today that you'll watch from beginning to end, then give this one a shot. And not because of fancy cinematography or slow-mo drifting, because there's none of that stuff here. But because there are so many cool things you need to know about this car, how it makes you feel, and maybe because you'll enjoy the fact that the experience overwhelmed me to the point of tears. And so you join me in the pit lane, GoPros in hand, ready to drive my first ever Lamborghini on Imola a track I've also never driven before. You join me in Imola, Italy, and I'm at the launch of the new Lamborghini Huracan Performante. So this is the uh, more track-focused Huracan. We've got 640 horsepower, the 5.2 V10 remains. Uh, it's got titanium valves, so they can go up and down more quickly. I'm being hunted by the bull, and uh, I'm about to go on track in one of them. So uh, wish me luck. So this is my first ever go in a Lamborghini and I am in one of the most hardcore Lamborghinis that Lamborghini makes. This is just the most ridiculous thing ever. Oh, the noise, the feeling, the passion, the fire. I have never experienced such an emotion in any car I have ever driven. Oh. <laughs> the acceleration is completely brutal, obviously. Oh, 640 horsepower. I'm already being left for dead by the guys ahead. I've got to push a little bit harder. Oh, this is all blind though. Oh, I've just got to lean on the car more. Come on! But the grip levels are amazing. So we've got all the active aero electric actuators in the front splitter and in the rear wing brakes are stonkingly good turning is just i mean mind-blowing don't know anything else like it in the world ah, <laughs> now is where the passion really begins to build for a brand like lamborghini i'd never driven a lambo before but now with this under my belt at one of the most iconic tracks in the world. <laughs> what can I say? I'm speechless. I feel like I'm gonna cry. In fact, I think tears are actually starting to come from my eyes. My eyes are leaking. I can't believe it. I never thought I would feel like this about driving something. But my God. <laughs> oh God, this is ridiculous. I have to sort my life out. It's never been a boyhood dream of mine to drive a Lamborghini. But now that I've done it, I just can't believe it. Words can't describe the feeling you get driving something like this. The noise. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. So I've just been out at Imola. Probably going to be my last stint for today. We've had about four stints. This was the car that I just went out in. We set really, really like quick lap times. We had a really nice train of three cars, as you would have seen. Thoughts of the Lamborghini Huracan Performante? It's pretty much the best car I've ever driven. It is the best car I've ever driven. Completely redefines how I feel about supercars. I never usually get this excited about new cars. You usually see me getting excited about old boxes, an MX-5 that doesn't work, a Proton that I can off-road, 
but um, my god, there is there is another world to being a car lover, and this is it. And now for a change of pace, I had a chat with Lamborghini's design boss. I'm now joined by Mitya Burgat. He is the head of design for Lamborghini. Yes. It's awesome to meet you, actually. Nice I've driven you. the car, so a handshake won't do. We're going to hug it out. Because <laughs> your, your car is just so good. It's so incredible. Remember, this is the Huracan Performante. It did a Nürburgring lap time of 6 minutes 52.01. Tell me a few design elements that makes this car so damn fast. So first of all, um, as you know, our design values are pure, cutting edge and visionary. So, and the design of the Performante is really standing for all these three topics. Pure for me, it is the silhouette of the car. For me, the cutting edge, of course, cutting edge is the design. We can start in the front. The front is really sharp, like a razor blade. Um, what I really like on the Huracan is that it is so low and you know, all the lines are accelerating straight from the front. We have some Y shapes. Y is a shape of Lamborghini that is very significant. We have this wing here that is inspired by aeroplanes. And there's um, an electric actuator in there, yes. which means that it's an active splitter. So um, very good for channeling the air from the front to the back. Exactly. So this is the part that is really engineered, also form follows function. These channels are sucking in the air. So this air is going through the posts and uh, coming out on the lower surface of the, of oh, the rear yeah. spoiler, yes. And this okay. is, you know, and we can channelize this from the left to the right or um, it can work all together. And this is creating this uh, aero vectoring effect, for And example. the use of forged composites has meant that you've been able to reduce the weight of the car by 40 kilograms. Yes. So what about the wheels? Because these wheels are exceptionally awesome. First of all, it's a very technical, lightweight wheel because, you know, there's not any gram too much on the wheel, uh, which is one thing, but also if I speak about hexagon and y, we have used the y theme as well. Like that. Yes, <laughs> yes exactly, exactly. Yeah, and with the bronze color, they are really stunning looking. And if I had to ask you, what is your one favorite design element on the Huracan Performante? What would the one thing be that you pick out and you say, I'm really, really proud of that? It is showing the love to the detail. You know, Italians are looking for the detail and uh, the Performante is showing that so, so well. But I, I like very much the front of the car. You know, it is really, let's say, aggressive looking, yeah. very distinctive looking. And uh, yeah, this view is for sure very cool. Absolutely. Meet your Burgat. Head of design at Lamborghini, he's the boss. Thank you very much. One Thank more hug, let's yes. do this, yeah. As well as the usual lounge and hospitality you get on launches like this, Lamborghini also added a makeshift design studio where you join me now. I'm gonna join a guy called Nelson who is a design expert. He works on the exterior of Lamborghinis, the modern Lamborghinis. So I thought it would be really cool if uh, Nelson did a sketch, he's gonna sign it, and then I'm gonna give it away. If you want me to sign it as well and probably devalue it, then um, I can make that happen too. Whoever comments on this video, uh, subscribes, leaves a cool comment, uh, we're gonna pick someone at random and we're gonna send you a design sketch. Right, Nelson, what's going on? What are we gonna do? The fins on the front that are even wider, if you notice, it's a bit sharper than the normal Huracan. One of my favorite parts is the rear shoulder. Of course, we have a high wing, then we are connecting these lines. Typical architecture, very extreme, very low. So there you have it, there is an awesome design sketch. Uh, comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel and uh, we will pick someone at random to give it away. With around 20 laps of Imola now under my belt, it was time to hit some actual roads to make sure that the Performante wasn't only a one-trick ball. Ah! We've been released on the Italian roads. A police officer just stopped and what he said to me wasn't what are you doing? Are you speeding? We're watching you. It was, is there a problem? No, officer. How many Lamborghinis are there? Five, officer. Good work. And that was that. That's how proud Italians are of Lamborghini. Italians love their cars. A very proud country. And with a car like this, who can blame them?
This is what a supercar has to be like. It has to be visceral, it has to be fiery, it has to be involving, it has to make every hair on your body tingle, stand up on end. Your sphincters need to go like that all the time, you need to have the noise. And this car has everything. If I could let this car take my virginity, I would bend over. Right now, in the middle of the road, it could have its wicked way with me. I would have the time of my life and I would tell my friends. I'd even tell my mum. On the road, the Huracampa for Mante is super wide, but you get used to it very quickly. The wing mirrors are thankfully really, really nice and big. So the steering's super light, extremely quick rack. Let's just have a little bit of noise, shall we? I've got it in neutral. I mean, listen to that. <laughs> it's just... This is a car you have to be excited about. If you don't, then there is something wrong with you. You're dead, you're dead from the waist down. I could sit here and tell you more about the Performante's aero vectoring that drastically improves cornering, the use of forged composites to save weight, or the fact that it now has 631 brake horsepower and a 0 to 62 time of 2.9 seconds, with 124 miles an hour showing on the dials after 8.9 seconds. But instead, I want to focus on how this car really got to me, because it's the first machine that I've driven that's been able to unlock something that I didn't know I had in me and that's a passion and desire for a car I probably won't ever be able to afford, nor be able to work on with my own hands. It also covered all bases of the traditional supercar ideal. Raw speed, fantastic power, spine-tingling noise, and acres of theatre, and let me push my limited track driving skills to new levels because I never felt so dialed in before. So if, like me, old school ideals with canyons of character and ultra modern performance are your thing, then look no further, because the Performante will rock your world.